What we've been taught is what? That God will get Satan, will get the devil off my back. <laughs> Don't we? We hear that, right? God's going to get the devil off my back. And the other one is Satan is some huge, scary monster, right? Well, here's the scripture says right here in James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourself to God then, or to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You can pause right there for a second. God is not going to get the devil off your back. I'm sorry. We pray that. It sounds nice. But the Bible says he's given you power over all the, all the power of the enemy. Nothing can hurt you. But you have to do your part to submit to God, resist the devil, then he'll flee. He will not flee unless you resist. But you cannot resist unless you submit. And this is where people miss it, I believe. They just say, God, you see what the devil's doing? Get him off me. He ain't going to do it. If you don't submit to God, you can't properly resist. Now, what do I mean by properly resist? I speak to men all the time and they always ask me, I got this lust demon on me. How do I get it off? And I say, what did you yield your members to obey? When you stare at that girl because she got them tight pants on or that tight skirt on, you're yielding your eyes. When you say, God, dog, she fine, you use, you're yielding your mouth. <laughs> when, you're, when you try to touch her or you try to go in that direction, you're yielding, you're yielding your hands and your, your feet and your genitals. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You're doing all of that and those are things that you have given authority over to Satan and you have to, if you're going to properly submit to God and resist, you got to resist the things that you have given your members over. So, my eyes, I command the demons, the spirits that's on my eyes to cause me to look at this woman to come out in Jesus' name. The spirit that's on my mind of lust to come out in Jesus' name. I'm helping somebody. The spirit that's on my hands with masturbation, pornography, come out in Jesus' name. The spirit that's on my genitals, my feet, my, all of that, you call it out because you yield your members over to the devil and when you submit yourself to God the word of God will say that you you are standing on the word according to this scripture and then you resist the devil that is not me Satan you are trying to influence me to say this or to drink that or to smoke this or to go this way I command that spirit to leave in Jesus name resist then he flees not because you say oh Lord the devil here the devil busy the devil busy get him off me he ain't gonna do it he gave you the power he gave you the keys so you don't have to obey the devil unless you want to but the moment you just say I gotta look at that I gotta look at that I gotta look at that you have just now given your members over to Satan and they, the same snake is speaking to you and you're like Lord how do I, how do I get free from this you have not submitted yourself to God you all hear me so the strongholds and a deliverance. Yes, you can go to a deliverance service. You can go to those places, but you actually have the power right now. You just got to submit to God and resist. And you know what? It takes as long as it takes. Don't be saying, oh, I spent, I spent been done with this by now. You have no idea how many times you yielded your members. And it may take time to uproot all of that. And it may take years. Yeah, keep submitting every day. Keep resisting every day because your mercies are new every morning. Is this helping? Yes. Because people think Satan is just some big, huge creature that I got to obey him because the devil made me do it. He didn't make you do anything. He deceived you to the point that you think he made you do it. But you have to cooperate with the devil in order for him to have dominion over you. Mark chapter 6, he could not do any miracles there except lay hands on a few sick people and heal them. Verse 6, he was amazed at their lack of faith. The reason why God is not moving is because you don't believe that God is stronger than the devil. So you have this picture of them uh, arm wrestling. Show that one more time, sir. You have a picture of them arm wrestling, and in your mind, you think Satan is just stronger than God. You don't want to admit it, but you think the devil is bigger and stronger than God. To be honest, that picture is incorrect. Satan is not even on the uh, same level as God, Jesus. Even if he did have one third of the angels, I don't care if he had 100% of the angels, he still could not overthrow God. He's not even in the same class. 
I like this teaching. I hope y'all like it. <laughs> so I got another scripture. Because we see Satan as this big, huge, fire-breathing, glowing eyes with all this massive power. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 14, those who see you will stare at you, talking about a spirit, and they will ponder your fate. Is this the man who shook the earth and made the kingdoms tremble? Is this the spirit who made the world a wilderness and overthrow the cities and would not let the captives go? You think Satan looks like this big, huge thing? No, he probably looks like... And he's probably not even big. He got that big Dunlap. He got that pop belly sticking out. And he don't have any glory about him. What if Satan just got a big mouth? But he only looks like this. The Bible says people will be shocked. That's enough. When they see that this is Satan. You mean to tell me? And the angel's got to hold you back because you're like, I ruined my family because of this thing. What? This is Satan? He like that. Hi. Oh my goodness, I ruined my life because of him because I thought he was some big, huge. Well, you, you've been juicing? Have you been bench pressing? Say, how do you get so big? He's not big. Why are you afraid of the devil? He probably just look at him like he's probably small that you can just kick him and he just got to run from you because when you see him in the spirit, it's like I can't believe the Bible said they were like they're gonna be shocked. I can't believe this thing made me ruin my life listening to the devil but if he can look what he did i mean he got all that that power by deception so if he makes you think that he's big and strong then you're gonna believe that Ooh. so power over the devil maybe the devil's that that's the devil Maybe that's him. Maybe it's not that big thing in the back with the horns and the sharp teeth. Maybe he does not look like that at all. I'm confident he doesn't. Because if the whole world gonna be shocked at him, he's probably that little imp, small, with a big mouth in your ear. Rebuke the devil and he'll flee from you. Resist him and he'll flee. Even if you gotta resist every day. Every single day, you, you submit, resist, he flee. Submit, resist, he flees. Some days you may win, some days you may not. So this is my teaching. I think that you already, my point in saying all of that is you already got power over the devil. You don't need to get somebody to lay hands on you so you can get power over the devil. No, you have it. You are in Christ, you have power over all the enemy. And he's not as intimidating as you think he is. He just deceiving you. He's speaking in your ear with the snake again. Either you're going to yield yourself over to him and listen to that, or you're going to just stand in your authority and submit, resist, and he'll flee. There are people, give me that camera, please. There are people right now that's listening to this teaching because Satan has deceived you to make you think that you cannot come out of this stronghold, this area of of abuse on your life. There's people that listen to me that, that can't let go of the drugs, can't let go of the liquor, can't let go of the, uh, uh, the sexual active things. There are homosexuals that are listening to me right now that you think that you were born that way and Satan has lied to you and told you that you are not a man or not a woman but you are a gender trapped in another body. Those are lies from the enemy. If you will look in the word of God you will recognize that God made you from the beginning. He did not make any mistakes. When he sent forth his word, he established it. We have been opening ourselves up to all of these different voices because it sounds good. But, but even the snake made it sound good to Eve that you can eat the fruit. It's up to you if you're going to listen to the voices of the enemy. Because the more you do that, you yield yourself a servant that you're going to obey. And Satan is your master. I believe right now, and I hate to say it this way, there are people that listen to me right now that are on their way to hell. And that when they were going to die, they will go to hell because they just refuse to just submit to what God says. Because God makes you uncomfortable when it comes to your lifestyle. You want to be able to have your sin and you don't want to be able to answer to anybody. And when you die, you will go to hell. Now, you may block me and turn me off or, or send me an ugly comment. I'm fine. My point is, we come here for you. 
so that you don't have to die and go to hell. Now, we have taken our time and exposed the enemy. It's your job to actually repent. So what we're going to do, we're going to lead them into a, a sinner's prayer. Is that all right, family? Those of you all that's watching, I want you to say this with your heart. And I want you to, when we say these words, don't just repeat it after me, but actually mean it. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now with a humble heart. I ask you to come into my life. I confess you as Jesus Christ, my Lord. Just let that sit for a second. Say it again. I confess you as Jesus Christ, my Lord, the Lord of all, the King of kings, the one who conquered, I'm sorry, who conquered death, hell, and the grave. I submit my life to you. Therefore, I can resist the devil and all of his schemes and he will flee from me in Jesus' name. If I was to die today, I will go to heaven today because I made Jesus the Lord and Savior of my life in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, if you really prayed that prayer, you have crossed over from death to life. And I'm not going to lie to you. Satan's going to come at you because he don't want you to be taken away from his kingdom so fast. So you have to get inside churches. You got to get around the body of Christ. You got to get inside the word of God. You have to submit yourself to, to the Lord so you can properly resist him. So this is my teaching again, the power over the devil. And I believe people are going to get born again off this. So right now, as a, as a closing prayer, I pray for those who Satan has bound through sickness. I pray for those that Satan has bound through strongholds. I pray for those who Satan has bound through all types of infirmity and strongholds in the mind. We rebuke you, devil, right now in the name of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus Christ. To let them go in the name of Jesus. You, you spirit who has kept them bound and their generation bound. Those that's listening to this and who will agree with this prayer. We command that spirit to let go in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for victory that it is done and we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living we command them to come out right now in Jesus name come out of darkness right now in Jesus name we call you to come forth now to be the sons and daughters of God right now in the name of Jesus and we believe it so in Jesus name Amen